How is cancer metabolism like the airbags in your car and why does it matter to your treatment? So there's a lot of discussion about sugar in your diet and cancer. It's one of the things that people on the channel comment the most about. And we really need to dive into this because it has significant implications for how you think about your cancer and how you think about your treatment and what is believable and useful for you. Cancer metabolism is the same way. And it's really important to understand that. There are plenty of folks, including some doctors, who are absolutely wrong about this, claiming that excess sugar in your diet, excess sugar in your blood causes cancer. Excess sugar causes cancer to grow faster. It doesn't cause the cancer itself, just the way that airbags don't cause car accidents. And it's really important that you understand this because anyone who's talking about the Warburg metabolism, that, that cancer can only use sugar, it only uses sugar and glutamine, it can't burn fats, has a complete misunderstanding of what cancer is doing and why. And the misunderstanding that people have, thinking that cancers have the particular weird metabolism that they do because they can't do anything else, and that's the only way they produce energy, is completely and utterly wrong. They have layered on top Warburg metabolism in order to make the building blocks for growth. And you really need to understand that and the role of sugar and metabolism so that your expectations are correct.